Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can go to our channel and watch videos from there. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about UTM tracking, how we can track UTM codes and how we can use them. Okay, so I have uh, I am in a, a blog site called Agency Analytics and they have a pretty much well documented uh, guide about UTM tracking. So I will share this doc link with you in the description box so that you can learn more about UTM tracking and use UTM tracking codes in your Google Ads and see the reports in your Google Analytics account. Okay, so let's know more about UTM tracking. Okay, so a UTM code is a simple snippet code that you can add to the end of a URL to track the performance of campaigns and content. You can track five standard variants of UTM parameters, source, medium, campaign, term, and content. Dimensions you track via UTM codes shows up in, a, in your Google Analytics report to give you a clear insight into marketing performance. UTM stands for Archin Traffic Monitor. This, may, uh, this name comes from Archin Tracker, a web analytics software that served as the base for Google Analytics. A UTM code looks something like this. So an UTM code looks something like this. The part starting after question mark is the UTM code. As you might have guessed, this particular code tracks who sent the traffic to the page. The UTM code itself has two components, UTM parameter and tracking variable. So UTM parameters that start with UTM. There are five standard parameters you can track. UTM underscore source, UTM underscore medium, UTM underscore campaign, UTM underscore content, and in the UTM underscore term. And tracking templates, tracking variables, a unique variable to identify the dimension being tracked, such as the name of the traffic source, okay? So why are UTM codes so important? The code only serves one purpose, to help your analytics tool track the source of your visitor, okay? So what can you track with UTM codes? There are five different UTM parameters. The first three are by far the most used parameters, source, medium, and campaign. But for additional insight, you may also choose to track all five. So we can see traffic source. Uh, so let's get to know uh, more about traffic source. The traffic source UTM parameter allows you to track where the traffic originated from. The parameter added to your URL is UTM underscore source. Source you may track could be Facebook, Google, Bing, or any other email list source, okay? Uh, and medium, second option. The medium UTM parameter tracks what type of traffic the visitor originated from. CPC, email, social, refer, display. And third option is campaign name. The campaign name UTM parameter allows you to track the performance of a specific campaign. For example, you can use the campaign parameter to differentiate traffic between uh, Facebook ads campaign or email campaigns. Okay. Uh, next option is content. In case you have multiple links pointing to the same URL, such as an email with two CTA buttons, these codes will help you track which link was clicked. Okay. And the last option is keyword term. The keyword UTM parameter allows you to track which keyword term a website visitor came from. This parameter is specifically used for paid search set okay so let's see it how we can uh, implement uh, utm tracking code 
practically okay so i will search share like campaign url builder then i'll click on the first link then we can see we have a campaign url builder so we can track we can input multiple things here like website url campaign id campaign source campaign medium campaign name campaign town and campaign content so i'll use this website okay i will i'll copy this link and paste it here i'll not give any campaign id i'll give campaign source as google and campaign medium as cpc because this is a paid ads that's why i will name it as cpc and campaign name you can name uh as as per your requirements like i will name it as my uh, according to my google ads campaign name like i will be advertising for roof repair service so i will put it here roof repair service okay so you can uh, enter campaign term and campaign content but for me i'm happy with targeting with those three options okay so you can see uh, you can copy this url from here and you can shorten the link as well so <clears throat> I can copy this URL from here and we can use it in our Google Ads final URL. Okay, so while creating an ads, you will see the first option uh, called final URL. Okay, so you can enter the campaign uh, UTM code from, uh, you can copy this code from here and paste it in your final URL. Okay. So what it will basically do, it will show reports on your Google Analytics account. But uh, for showing reports in your Google Analytics account, you need to connect your Google Analytics account with Google Ads, okay? So I have a detailed video on how to create Google Analytics 4 account and how to connect your analytics for account with google ads and import conversions from ga4 to google ads all those kind of stuff so i would request you to watch this video first and then come to this video okay so yeah so let's see how we can see the uh, campaign uh, data or uh, campaign performance in our Google Analytics account, okay? So I need to uh, uh, I need to come to the options called acquisition, okay? So from acquisition, you can uh, click on traffic acquisition, okay? So we can see which campaign is performing well and which campaign is generating how many users, how many events they are get, um, they are getting okay how many conversions they are getting this kind of stuff in our google analytics account okay so i will click the primary dimension as session campaigns and the secondary dimension as from traffic source i will click on session source or medium so what i will uh, what i uh, basically want to see that which campaign uh, we are getting data from which campaign and which source and medium we are using okay so you can see a holistic reports of your campaign data like the campaign name is this one and the campaign source is google and medium is cpc <clears throat> that we are getting uh, this uh, amount of users we, we have got this amount of sessions. We have got this amount of engaged sessions. Okay. So we can see the uh, engagement rate here as well. And we can see all the events here and all the conversions that is happening here. 
okay so you can get the full insight of your google ads campaign data in your google analytics account and you can take the further decision that which campaigns are performing well and which campaigns needed to be scaled on the basis of data on the basis of performance so that's th this is the basic uh, needs of utm tracking code in our google ads okay so hopefully you have a clear understanding on utm tracking and yeah that's it for this video if you like our video you can subscribe our channel like our face okay you have a good day bye bye